First herring of the year. Oops. <laughs> I didn't bring any ice today and I should have. That was my first cast. So what we're using is a sabiki rig. That's a little half ounce weight. There's six little hooks on there. And I'll show you what it looks like under here. That's what they look like. That's a big school right there. Oh, that's look at my pole. Try to let it sit down there for a little while and get more than one. And this time I've got only two again. Last year at this time, sometimes there was 30 boats in this little area. The same one again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I got two.
real big. But really good for salmon. I love what a Pacific herring actually looks like. A little green tinge in the back, silver. Actually, you know, I bet a cast net, a cast net would really work good. How deep is this water? It's about 20 foot deep. The herring? Yeah. Yeah, they're all in here. How about you? We just got here. We tried down farther on Dock 5. Didn't see big school. There's guys back in here catching a whole bunch of them. Were they? Yeah. That's better. <laughs> Small ones though. <laughs> well, I got a couple dozen, I guess, of these uh, of these herring. A lot of sea lions around in here, and seals. And uh, I just just hooked one down there and ripped all my line off. So, I mean, if you look behind me, you can see these seals are. Well, they just went down. Anyway, you can see them everywhere on here. There's a few boats out here fishing. Everybody gets along pretty good. So don't crowd each other. And probably come out again. These are really small here. I think the bigger ones will come in a little bit later. But uh, that's about all I have for now. Good time. Good time here uh, fishing for these. So anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Talk to you later. All right, we're back at the house here. I'm gonna take care of these uh, these herring we got. We didn't get too many, you know, maybe, I don't know, a dozen and a half or so. I've got so many in the freezer, I really don't need that many. I just kind of want to show you guys what I do with them. First of all, um, we caught them, I just threw them in a five gallon bucket with some some water in there, uh, salt water. I didn't bring any ice with me. I didn't bring any extra salt. Normally I make a slurry, put it in an ice chest. You take them off, don't touch them, drop them in the, drop them in the slurry and they kind of freeze up. They don't, they don't end up with their mouths open, that kind of stuff. So, but here's what we ended up with, like I say, and the most of them small, pretty good size one right there on top. But what I'm going to do is, uh, I got some parchment paper here on these, on these uh, trays, and I'm going to see if I what best best thing I do seems like is if you freeze them first, if you if you try to vacuum pack them before they're frozen. It, it, they'll actually squish the guts and, and the sperm out and all that kind of junk and just make it an awful mess. So we like to, uh, to do that first, freeze them and then, then vacuum pack them. Well, that's a shame. Some of these big ones with their mouths open. Those are a good size for a little bit. Very small, most of these.
what I've seen a lot of guys do is they'll just get a gallon freezer bag and put them in a gallon freezer bag, and especially the ones like this. You could use them for crab bait, oh. stuff like that. But he's making noise. Be close. Like I said, I still have over 200 herring in the freezer packed up like I'm doing here. All right, I put the other one in the freezer already. I'm gonna put this one in this freezer. Get the bag of ice back in there. That fits in there perfect. Now, if you had a lot to do this way, it would take you a while. I have a small freezer, so uh, it works all right. Like I say, I got plenty in there. So anyway, we'll uh, let those freeze overnight. And I'll see you tomorrow, which will be in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's the next day. The uh, herring are frozen. Show you what they look like. See that? Again, some of their mouths have have frozen open. Yeah, they'll, they'll still work. But uh, so what I do now is just I kind of take all the, the like sizes and put them together. I mean, you got these small ones like this. And kind of set those all together. Let's see that there. It depends on the size. Usually you can get six or seven on the tray. So anyway, that's uh, that's what they look like before we get them all froze up. Now these trays, these are nine and a half by eleven, and you can get them from Amazon. And I'll put the link down below. And for twenty-five of these trays, I believe they're about twelve dollars, something like that. And so you do the math, you know, twenty-five times six, so one hundred and fifty. Uh, herring you can put up for, for 12 and a half bucks. Anyway, so then I got a bag, just a clear vacuum bag. And these will last two or three years too. So some of mine look, I actually take them out and not use them, but I just refreeze them. And you know, you can, like I say, you can use them for crab bait or whatever. You'll see they won't they won't smash up. The tray sometime curl on you a bit. That is a perfectly set tray of herring. Good for eating if you want. We just use them for bait. I don't eat them at all. So anyway, it's pretty easy to do. Do one more.
Okay, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, a lot of guys will just take a handful of them and put them in a gallon Ziploc bag, put them in a the freezer like that. Anyway, put them in a gallon Ziploc bag and just kind of defrost them before you use them. And that, that works okay. A lot of times the scales will come off and they just, I don't know, they just don't look as good, I don't think. Not that it makes any difference to me, but it does to the fish, I think. Another good tray. Ready to go. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Hey, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, Help me, uh, help me out a little bit, please, and, and maybe hit that like button, too, and subscribe to this channel. Um, hopefully I'm not boring you guys and doing the same things over and over, but I sure appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. So Anyway, until next time, adios. Have a good day.